Hello, everybody. <laughs> I feel like I haven't filmed in a while, so I feel kind of awkward. It's Trailer Tuesday, so going to watch a trailer. This is one that has a lot of talk about it right now, you know. I've seen people reacting to it like crazy. Uh, I've, we've heard word about it for a very long time. Didn't know, you know, if it was really going to happen or not, or if it's just rumors, because it's one of those movies that, you know, they say they're going to make, but we're like, is that just, you know, people wanting that to happen, wishing that would happen, or, or scared that it will happen? <laughs> Anyways, I'm talking about The Crow. Apparently, it's really going to happen now. 2024. With Bill Skarsgård. I don't have a great opinion about remakes. I am not a fan of remakes. Uh, it's very rare. Like, I like what they did with the Jumanji. At first, I was way against it. It's like, how dare they try to touch Jumanji, you know, with Robin Williams, the great Robin Williams. I think he, I'm not sure if he had passed away yet at the time. I think he had. And I was like, really? He just passed away and now you're going to make a new Jumanji? How dare you? <laughs> but I like what they did with it. It was sort of like a sequel. It was a whole new cast, but they like paid homage to the first one and I, I like what they did. I did it wasn't like it wasn't a remake exactly it was more like a sequel um taken into the modern day and I liked it but when they just they like remake old movies or older movies they're not really that old I mean when was the first crow the Crow. I think it was the 80s. The late 80s. Where's my phone? I didn't do any research. I just started filming. <laughs> typical. Typical me. Oh, 1994. Okay. So the first Crow came out in 1994. Which, to me, and I'm still very young, that wasn't that long ago. Like, why we gotta make a remake or whatever. If you don't know anything about The Crow, this is a classic cult movie about a man and his, like, new wife. Uh, this guy, Eric Draven. He's like a guitarist, like a cool guy, like a, like a rocker, like a gothic-looking kind of guy, and his... His girlfriend or wife, I, I don't remember. I think they just got married. Didn't they just get married? It was like Halloween night. They got married. They're celebrating. They're so in love. And then these group of bad guys break into their apartment and brutally kill them and rape the girl and... Or... They they push him out the window, I think. They brutally attack this girl. She's in the hospital fighting for her life for a long time. And then she dies. And then he is able to come back from the grave, kind of like a ghost, and seek revenge on all the bad guys that did that to him and his wife. She's still, like, dead, I guess, passed on, went to heaven or something. But he came back and sort of, by using a crow somehow, like, part of him is inside the crow. I, I don't understand it, but it's like a weird, dark, gothic, sci-fi, fantasy world type of movie. It has Michael Wincott playing the ba the main bad guy um top dollar i always want to say silver dollar 
His name's Top Dollar. And he's a very good bad guy. Very creepy. And he has like this stepsister, half sister. I think she's supposed to be his half sister girl that's really creepy. And it's like they have a relationship with each other, even though they're sister brother. And she likes to pluck eyeballs out of people. She has like a thing for plucking eyeballs out. And yeah, it's a weird movie. Anyways, I'm not like a huge fan of the movie. I think it's okay. I respect it as a cult classic. I've seen it several times, but it's not like at the top of my list of favorite movies or anything like that. It's kind of strange. It's a strange movie. I don't fully understand everything in it. You know, like the logistics of all of it, how it works. It's set in a weird world. Like, it kind of reminds me of Sin City in a way. Like, it's a, like a different universe where there's a lot of crime. It's really dark and gritty, kind of like a Batman movie or something. I think the movie, one of the reasons it became such a big movie and cult classic and stuff as well, and why it's so well known in in the cinematic world is because the main actor in the movie was Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, and he died on set. He actually died on set. There was a scene where someone aimed a gun at him. It was supposed to be like a prop gun and it went off like a real gun and it shot him and killed him. And uh, there's tons of conspiracy theories about it saying that he was murdered, that it was like, it wasn't just an accident, that someone did that deliberately. And yeah, you can Google it, read all about it. There's all kinds of stuff about it, you know, conspiracy theories and stuff about it. It's pretty interesting. So they had to kind of use stunt doubles and do some clever movie tricks and things to because he wasn't done filming the movie so they had to do some clever editing and whatnot to to make to finish the movie because he died in the middle of it that's another reason i kind of feel like it's not right to remake it because the main actor brandon lee died in the first one um so it's like it should end there and but I don't know. Part of me was a little excited about it. Part of me was a little like, don't do it. Um, The only reason I kind of got excited about it a long time ago when I heard uh, that Bill Skarsgård was going to be the main character, um, Draven, Eric Draven, because he's a really good actor and I like him. He had recently done It at the time when I was hearing buzz about it, I think. And he was incredible as it, the clown. And I thought he's a really good pick for that role. I pictured him with long hair, like, you know, Brandon Lee had in the first movie, you know, looking more like that. But they... I've seen some images and it looks like he has super short hair. He looks different. Kind of reminds me of Jared Leto when he played the Joker and how different he looked. And it's kind of like, eh, you know, he he had a kind of different look to the Joker. It's kind of off-putting or something. I don't know. I've heard some really bad things about this movie. I have not seen the trailer. I've seen image... Images of what uh, Skarsgård looks like. Bill Skarsgård. I get the Skarsgårds mixed up. I want to say like Stellan, Skarsgård, uh, whatever Skarsgård. There's like a million of them. Dads and brothers and uncles and everything. They're all actors. I think I'm familiar with his dad the most. He played, uh, I think it's his dad. It might be his uncle or something. Um... He played a uh, bootstrap Bill Turner in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. 
He was also in um, Goodwill Hunting and The Glass House and a whole bunch of stuff I've seen him in. Um, okay, well, let's get into it, I guess. Watch this trailer. The first comment in the comment section under the trailer says, My disappointment is immeasurable <laughs> and my day is ruined. <laughs> so that's I saw that comment and I was like, Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's ruin our day over a trailer. It's not going to ruin our day. It's a trailer. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't watch it. It's okay. Let's watch the trailer and then judge from there. Let's be judgy. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliant and broken. You feel like my person? You feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of them. I like the music. Um, the characters look so different than what you imagine, I guess, from the first movie. But I guess when you make a remake, you don't want it to just be a carbon copy of the first one. But I don't know. I just feel like the characters, the way they look doesn't really match what I would th think and imagine them looking like and stuff. Looks like they've added a little bit more different story to the to it. Like in the first movie, it was like it just jumped into it. It didn't really explain much. It just was like, here's this couple, bam, and these people break in and it doesn't really explain the backstory or anything that much. Um here it's like saying she witnessed something she shouldn't have the way they're attacking them is different they put bags over their heads he's looking at her she's looking at him with bags on their head heads i kind of like that it's kind of dramatic i don't know i don't know i'm being judgy i don't know a crow carried that soul to the land of the dead Sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Hagger. It's not anger. It's love. I want you to come. You know that love promises only pain. You know what hell awaits you? No, I 
Okay, I think I know what it is. It looks it looks okay to me. If it was a standalone movie and it wasn't I think a lot of people are so hopped up on it being a remake of the first one. If you think of it as a totally different movie, a new movie coming out, then it's not so bad. I think people just love the first one so much and it's like dear to their heart it's not like the first one like the first one had a totally different vibe it's it's old school 90s gothic more rock grungier grungy rock gothic it's the it's the kids that liked Nightmare Before Christmas and they loved uh um that uh brr, what's it called Johnny Depp they loved Johnny Depp in general <laughs> Johnny Depp Tim Burton movies uh Sleepy Hollow um The Craft that type of that type of vibe you know it's like a different generation and this is not that this is like it has more of like a I, I don't know hip hop like rap new age like gangster feel I don't know it doesn't have that that old school gothic Halloweenish rock and roll I mean, yeah, they're playing it, Ozzy Osbourne, right? I don't know if I'm getting that right. It sounded like Ozzy Osbourne to me. Music, but other than that, it doesn't have that feel. It, He's not in the graveyard, you know, coming out of the graveyard. But the, the yeah, there's crows, but it's it doesn't, it just doesn't have that same dark, gothic-y kind of feel to it. It's more action and and cool like yeah like death and underworldy but different and he said you you can save her is is there a way for him to save her is can he bring her back to life or something in this one because he said like you're running out of time you can save her and he's like reaching for her and she's like in this watery realm like she's going underground like she's maybe he can bring her to heaven or something maybe she's going to some weird underworld if he's not but how can seeking revenge and killing everybody that killed you how could that save her um i don't know the bad guy i recognize him the actor he's usually a pretty good bad guy so that's a pretty good pick, I I guess. Um, Scar Scarred. He's very muscled. He looks. I I liked the scenes of him. You know, like all muscled and ready to go, and like let's go have some action and kill and revenge, and that that was pretty cool. But I don't know if I like the way they did everything the way it looks like he came back to life as a ghost kind of and and her trapped in the underworldy weird death realm and and the way they died and it's it's strange it's I probably want to watch it. It's not one that I refuse to watch. Like like the movie Overboard. There's a there's a movie from the 80s called Overboard. If you never heard of it with Goldie Hawn and Rus and Kurt Russell and they made a remake of it 
uh, in the 2000s somethings with Anna Ferris, I think is her name. And I don't know the guy's name. And it's like a role reversal. So it's like a remake of the movie, but instead of the woman being rich and snobby and the guy being poor, they role reversed it so that the guy is poor. Or, I mean, the guy is rich and she is poor. And, but it's the same sort of storyline. I refuse to watch that movie and I've heard it's horrible. Um, nobody, I've never heard anybody say anything good about it. <laughs> if you've seen it, let me know in the comment section if it was decent or not, but I've heard horrible things about it and it's one of those that I refuse to watch. I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head that was a remake that I refuse to watch, but I'm sure there are some. I just don't think about them much because I don't want to watch them. <laughs> But this one I would watch, but I think I would still like the first one better because it it's the first one I watched. It's from my like youth and uh, so it's the one that I hold closer to my heart. I don't think they should have remade it though. I think they should have just not remade it. You know, they should have focused on something different, made a different movie, you know, make something new. Don't waste your time. <laughs> Let me know what you thought in the comments section. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.